Did she make it back? Big job, yes? Decent. An architect. Yeah. You see what I mean? You picked up on that, right? A little warble? It's warbling, right? All readings fall within acceptable tolerances. You gotta look past the numbers for once in your life. Something is off. The connection is a bit fuzzy. How do you quantify fuzzy? You don't quantify fuzzy? You don't measure it, you don't count it. It's nothing like that. It's, it's a feeling. Everything okay here, Owen? Well, yeah, well, on your last mission, I noticed that the cipher chair was giving off some very strange feedback. All readings fall within acceptable tolerances. Well, no, it's your call, but if you ignore it, and something goes wrong. I will find know. an arcanist and perform a full protocol inspection on this unit. There's nothing wrong with the chair, is there? No. Why are you always stirring up trouble? What are you talking about? I've just done her a massive favor. You've got no idea how boring it is being a Fort Cipher. She does not get to work with a freelancer. She does not get to see the world through the eyes of a javelin pilot. No, 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 no. You know what she gets to do? She gets to relay official messages back and forth to ciphers at the Capitol day after day after day. Some people like boring. Not everyone's cut out to be a freelancer. So you have said. But you have to admit that last mission would have gone better with a partner. I have a partner. You. Every good javelin pilot needs a cipher. That is not what I meant. Look, if I had a suit of my own, I could be out there in the field with you. Hold down your boosters, Hotshot. With more training, you'll get your chance, I promise. Fine. It's not like we could afford a space suit anyway. The job board is empty. We'll figure something out. We always do. Yeah. Do you ever regret missing out on the glory days? Back when freelancers were treated like heroes. Contracts would just fall into their laps. Everywhere they went, they were given respect. And free sandwiches. Free sandwiches? Yeah. I haven't had my lunch yet. I'm starving. We're on a tight budget here. Budget has room for sandwiches. You're probably right. You know what? Why don't you uh, head over to the forge, get your javelin tuned up so we're ready to roll if a contract does fall into our laps. Owen, you need something? What are you talking about? I just got a message from you saying to meet you at the forge. I didn't send any. Why would I want to meet up here? Something's not right. We need you to speak in private. My name is Tassin. Do you always travel with a security escort? Not always. The Sentinels have their uses. Well, you make a hell of an entrance, I'll give you that. I have a contract for you, freelancer. I'd like to know who I'm working for before I take a job. Really? From what I hear, two of you will take about any job you can get these days. What's the job? An arcanist has gone missing. Missing? I thought arcanists just hung out in labs studying Schaefer relics. <laughs> Matthias Sumner was investigating some relics at a ruin near the fort. I need you to find him and bring him back home safe. If he's still alive. 
No one knows more about the dangers of Shaper artifacts. I'm confident that knowledge and his own resourcefulness will keep him alive until you find him. What do you say, Freelancer? We'll make it worth your while. No one? Looks like the Freelancer's right again. Well, us anyway. Excuse me, I just got a... That is excellent. I will then run my diagnostics. Let me know when you're ready to leave. It was a pleasure. On behalf of myself and Matthias, thank you for doing this. Uh, okay. And if I have... Fine, Matthias. Trust me. I'm a person you want to know. Here we are, Freelancer. You ready to jump in? Yes, I am. Well then, let's not keep that big bad world waiting. Our contract is to locate an Arcanist named Matthias. Tassin has given us the last location where he made contact. I'm detecting the camp's shockwave radio. Not seeing anyone. Owing anything? No, that's a broken equipment. Obviously Arcanist made, otherwise, no, nothing but the radio. And no Matthias. Oh, hang on. Detecting another radio. Same frequency. Must be more than one camp. Let's follow that signal.
Okay, I've got a new trail. We'll need to get to the location I've marked for better reception. Anything else I should know? Besides that Arcanists get themselves in trouble by being out here. About my thighs. Brilliant and reckless. He has a reputation among the Arcanists. Not a good one. Having a bad reputation is chapter one of the Freelancer's Handbook. The radio signal is getting stronger. Clearly, Matthias established more than one camp. Oh no. Arcanus? Yes. Matthias? No, he's not here. Look for anything that can help track him down. That's where the signal is coming from. We can use it to help search for another camp. It'll take time. Okay, get started. Seems quiet out here. Maybe. What the hell? An ambush! <laughs> the scars! Scavengers! Multiple signals! They are everywhere! Are you done with the radio? No! Still working on it! Destroy any hives that pop up that can cut off reinforcements. Hives need more scars. Got it. Finish off the remaining scars.
Matthias somewhere. Scar's gonna attack my camp. Need immediate assistance. Matthias, where are you? He didn't hear you. But well, I think I found another camp. Okay, let's go. Matthias? Nothing. We just lost the radio signal. We need signal booster. Wait! Found one. Got a bunch of scars. I've never seen this much scar activity. What is going on? I don't know, but it's not a good sign.
This looks serious. Very serious. Focus on the big guy. Watch out for the flamethrower. Oh, the gates are closing. Looks like we scared them off. Let's take care of the rest and get back to the radio.
those scars. You got it.
done. Yes, he is done. Let's clean up the rest of them now, shall we? Okay, no active signals. I'll keep monitoring. You should check on Matthias. Matthias? Here, right here. Hey, Scars. I don't know what to think. Arcanists and Scars often clash over Shaper sites, but nothing like this. I must tell Tassin. Please, I need to return to Fort Tarsus. Freelancer. Thanks for the save. That trouble was unexpected. You often hang around outside the walls like that? Occupational hazard. But this was different. Something's making the scars more violent. I think it's the Dominion. We think they're back. I'm sure you must know Freelancer Yarrow. <sighs> I think Tassin's right. This feels like before the attack on Freemark. The one that set off the Heart of Rage? I don't really know the whole story. I do. Much of what I am about to tell you is not well known. My ward, Johnny, was there ten years ago. She saw it with her own eyes. What you will already know is that Freemark was one of the great cities of Bastion. Ancient, proud, prosperous, but most important, it held the largest and greatest enclave of freelancers anywhere. The freelancers, along with the Sentinels, guardians of the walls, protected Freemark and its people from the chaos of our world. Until one day, the Dominion arrived on their doorstep. Cruel conquerors from the north. The Dominion, the Sentinels, and the Freelancers would make their claim for Freemark that day. Each group heirs in their own right to the legendary General Tarsis and her Legion of Dawn. Freelancer Adams led the charge as the Enclave leapt to meet the Dominion forces head on. My Johnny, says the army, was massive. The Dominion was led by Dr. Harkin, a man never seen before or after that day. He came to take the city at any cost. So they fought, outnumbered, outflanked, and outgunned. Free Lancers fought. They did well for a time.
But the walls of the great free market did not hold. The Dominion poured in. Adams, with many freelancers, made their last stand outside the city walls. While some, like Johnny, stayed to help who she could. When, without warning, the doomed sentinels fell back. But now I tell you that deep in the city, Johnny discovered what the sentinels already knew. The Dominion didn't want to destroy Freemark. They wanted to capture an ancient Shaper relic that was protected deep inside the city. The Cenotaph. Seems this Dr. Harkin believed he had created a way for the Dominion to use the Cenotaph to control the Anthem of Creation itself. Arrogance. The Anthem will not be controlled. The terrible cataclysm, which was unleashed that day, destroyed Freemark, destroyed the Dominion, destroyed everything. That cataclysm became the heart of rage. Some survived to tell the story of Freemark, but not many. Dominion must be back for a reason. I clearly have more intel to hunt down. Come and find me later. Yeah, me too. I'll contact you when I have something. I'll be in the Enclave. <laughs>